under terminal group we have terminal status the terminal status shows all the details about the web pass connected product name is the web pass and the model type is em the serial number is 20000 meaning the web pass can store up to 20000 users this is the serial number firmware version is 1.10.10 and this is the hardware version system time terminal ID is 1 and this is the MAC IP address this is the IP address subnet mask gateway primary DNS listen port is 2000 if we are using any software the PC software we can assign the software IP address here and the status is offline because we have not assigned any software IP address Web management port is 80, number of registered user is 1, so the remaining user capacity, I mean the available user capacity for the CMAC is 19999 because the total user capacity for the web pass is 20,000. Access log is 2 and the system log count is 2. Controller mode is, is controller and the vegan format is vegan 34 bits. Anti-passback is disabled and the tolerance time is 0. anti duress is disabled also. WebPass for anti-passback policy, we can connect WebPass, one WebPass to another WebPass. So in case for if the anti-passback feature is required, we can connect the next web WebPass. So we need to assign the next WebPass IP address here. Since there is no next web, web pass connected, it shows IP address as 0 and the status as offline. So this is the terminal status description. Next we will see the terminal setup. We can do any terminal configuration under terminal setup page. Terminal setup shows the first one we can assign the terminal ID. In case if there are more than one web pass connected to the network, the terminal ID for each web pass should be unique. So, we, if, we, if we need to change the terminal ID, we can change here. This is the IP address, subnet mask, gateway, DNS server. Listen port is TCP port, software port uses 2000. If we are using any PC software, we can assign the software IP address here. Software IP address is nothing but the server IP address where the software is installed. Controller mode, there are three control three sections. It can be as a controller. Web pass can be as a controller or subcontroller. Subcontroller in case of connecting web pass to another third party controller using vegan 34 communication, we can select as subcontroller. For example, if web pass is connected to a CMAC for multi-door feature, we can connect as we can select it as subcontroller. Or web pass IP address can just be an external reader for the door. We can connect as we can select it as dummy reader. So currently it is a controller. Web language for the web software we can select either English or Chinese as the web language. Anti passback feature is we can either enable or disable the anti passback feature. If we, if we enable the anti-passback feature, we need to connect next web pass IP address. Tolerance timer is currently 0 but maximum can be 65535. Tolerance timer meaning recovery time for back to normal. Anti-passback standby status after anti-passback event has been triggered. So if, if the anti-passback feature is enabled, then for the anti-passback feature to come back to normal, we need to give the tolerance time. So this is the tolerance timer. Zero means no tolerance time has been given to remove the anti-passback. If, for example, if anti uh, tolerance timer is 10, then 10 seconds are given to remove the anti-passback feature. anti duress can be enabled or disabled. This anti duress is a feature 
where if there is any emergency and emergency then the user can press the anti duress password which can alert at the access log in red color so that there is some emergency we can know from the access log access log password can be maximum three digits and the default is default password is 9 web management port is 80 next web pass IP address for anti passback they can assign if there is any next web pass connected this is the fast card registration mode we can enable or disable during this fast registration card mode the web pass goes to the registration mode meaning the during that time we cannot make any transaction we can only register the card so you just enable this fast card registration mode and then keep flashing the cards at the web pass then the user is automatically added at the web pass we can see at the view user list uh, column all the users will be automatically registered at the web pass so this is the terminal configuration we can do any terminal setup here click save for any changes it takes 10 seconds to reboot next is the password setup there are three zones for password setup authority for administrator operator user each administrator operator and user have different rights for accessing the web software so we can give the we can refer to the web pass manual for the access rights for administrator operator or web user that the you we can also change the username and password here we can change the username password for each administrator operator and user and then click save for any changes the common password is by default one two three four maximum can be eight digits and minimum is four digits save for any changes for example we use the common password to do a transactional web pass just press one two three four then we can check at the access log the access log note shows as CP CP meaning common password common password is 1234 we can also change this common password system log is showing all the events that takes place at the system meaning web pass we can export the system logs to text or excel format we'll just see the sample of text format This is the text format for system log. We'll export to the Excel format. This is the Excel format for the access log. We can see here all the all the system logs are exported to the Excel format. Next is the clock setup. We can enable or disable the time server by default the time server is disabled but we can choose the time zone according to the country we prefer just save any changes for the configuration settings will take 10 seconds to reboot so this is the terminal configuration